All right, we're here with Coach Jared Olson, guard Camille Diaz, and guard Cassidy Mahalko after the NCAA Division II Women's Basketball West Regional Semifinals. Uh, Coach, can you just start us off with the same man? Uh, it was just a heck of a game. Um, I'm sure you, I hope you guys agree. I don't know if you <laughs> disagree or didn't watch the same game everyone else did because that was just a great game. Um, obviously, we're disappointed we didn't win, um, but we're really proud of our effort. Um, I thought the girls played really hard. And I mean, Anchorage is a really good team, but they really fought hard. And you could see as the game was going back and forth, it was just two really good teams. And it was a lot of fun to play, a lot of fun to coach, and it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, so yeah, I'm really proud of the girls, and uh, yeah, we had a really good season. Any questions from the floor? Come here, what's it like to just be able to take big shot after big shot and, and shots that some girls just aren't willing to take? Um. I mean, I just take the open shot. I mean, I really don't think of it as like, oh my god, it's a big shot, I gotta make it. Like, I mean, I just take the open shot. Um, you know, it goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but, you know, I just tried my best at the end, and it didn't work out. So, yeah, shoot the open shots. Yeah, I, I think they led the uh, nation in steals in the game. Um, you played a team like that in terms of just how aggressive and how quick they were defensively? I think they have an unusual style. Um, you know, the, the, I think they have, what are they, what's on the back of their jerseys? Like, oh, Mayhem. Mayhem. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless they're trying to get the game a little crazy, it's a little different than playing most teams, you know, but you know, we turned the ball over a little bit more, but there's a ton of possessions, too. I mean, I, I don't know if there was any more turnovers in regards to the, you know, in relation to the number of possessions. Um, and there's times when we turn the ball over to, but we made some plays, you know, and I don't think there was any one thing that was, I mean, I'm not going to look back and just be like, oh, we couldn't handle the pressure or anything like that. And I'm sure, I mean, yeah, it gave us a little bit of trouble at times, but we adjusted throughout the game and, you know, we had a chance to win, you know, so it wasn't like there was one thing one team was doing that the other team couldn't handle. It was just two really good teams just competing um, and really getting after it and, you know, it went to overtime, you know, and somebody has to lose at some point. Unfortunately, that was us. Coach, can you just talk about being able to stay poised? Um, they shot six percent from three in yeah. the first half. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't shoot like yeah. that both halves, but it's kind of tough in the first half to battle against that. I mean, it, that might sound like a broken record, but it, it just it's just kind of was a that kind of game, you know. And you go into the game thinking, all right, which team's gonna make all the threes? You would have said us, you know, and especially the way they played against Dominguez the other night. I mean, they couldn't hit anything, you know, and there was a million fouls being called, you know, and, and this game was completely different. You know, both teams were making shots, making plays. It was really clean. You know, there wasn't a lot of stoppages. The game really moved. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there's just not much you're going to do when, you know, kids are shooting a lot better than they normally shoot. I mean, we were trying to guard them. They just made some really nice plays. I'm sure if you ask the kid that was guarding Camille at the end, she's like, hey, I was working hard. <laughs> you know, it's just good players make good plays and big games, and that's kind of what happened. Let's get a comment from uh, Cassidy. Uh, I'm just curious, talk about the intensity in the game. I mean, it just looked like a battle of heavyweights. Yeah, I mean, the game was definitely intense. It was fast-paced. We were running, I mean, back and forth. Both teams were tired for sure, and... I mean, it was fun. It was fun basketball out there, though. It was really exciting, and you know, we like to play uh, fast-paced, and then Alaska really matched that, and it was a fun game. Any other questions? Uh, can you just talk about what these last two years in, in the playoffs and what, what 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 this guys does for you coming back? Obviously, you guys have a lot of girls coming back for your senior year, including you two. What what, what do these last two years kind of do for you heading into 2017? Um. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, to give you a really long answer, um, when these guys were freshmen, we had a, we had a huge class. Um, the year before them, we had graduated, I think, nine of the ten players on the roster, so it was a brand new team. Um, we went into Christmas break. Um, we were two and seven. We had lost seven games in a row. Um, and it would have been really easy for people to question, you know, if we were doing things the right way, if this is the right coach, if this is the right group of, group of players. And um, I was really, I really knew then, after we'd lost seven games in a row, and then we had come back, 
mean, think about it, seven games in a row in a 25 game season. That's a lot of games. That's not very good. Um, and a lot of them in excruciating fashion. Um, but they, you could just tell there was a lot of fight in them. Um, and they just kept working. And we got a lot better after Christmas. Uh, and then we come back the following year, we add one or two players. Uh, and the team still has some kind of ups and downs. But last year at this time, we just hit, we just hit our stride. And we just really kept going. We were really gelling as a team. Um, and we really just carried that over to this year. I mean, it's a different team this year than it was last year. You know, but you could argue it was more successful. Maybe we don't go as far in the tournament, but in the regular season, we were a much better team. And consistently, from game in and game out, we were a much better team this year. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you get in a tournament, matchups become a big factor, you know, and the ball bounces in for one team, the ball bounces out for the other, and that's just basketball. And you'll see it a hundred times over the next week and a half. I mean, you can see the Oklahoma game yesterday, but he'll, I mean, if it's just like point one earlier, all of a sudden, I mean, he's the hero he thinks he was, you know, and it gets waved off. And is it any less of an amazing shot and an amazing performance? No, it just, they just end up losing. Um, and that's just kind of how this time of year works. That's what makes it so exciting. Um, and that's what makes it so special when you do go on a run like you did last year. Because you know that it's so hard and it just takes a lot out of you. Um, and you just have to really embrace it when it's occurring because you know how hard it is to get there and you know you need some help along the way. And you know, this year it just didn't happen for us from that standpoint, but it doesn't mean we're any less proud of the way we played, the way we competed. Um, if anything, I think I'm actually a little bit more proud of this team just because of some of the things we overcame during the year and the growth that, that these girls showed throughout the season. Um, yeah, I just really couldn't be any more proud and I'm just really thankful for the opportunity that I had to coach them uh, and to watch them grow. And uh, hopefully they'll continue to grow into uh, next year and, and be able to kind of like develop the next group of kids coming through. Because um, they, they'll definitely leave a, a lasting mark on our, on our school's women's basketball program. You know, they'll, when people are thinking about CBU women's basketball, one of the first two names they're going to think of for the next probably 10 years is Camille Diaz and Cassidy Mahalka. Um, Jerry Wilson. Oh. <laughs> and the good part is when they're gone, I have lots of good stories to tell <laughs> the other people. <laughs> Any more questions? All right, thank you guys. Congratulations yeah. on the season. Thank you guys very much. Good game.